Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I just got done jump-starting a vehicle and I wanted to do a quick video on it here and explain a couple of things to you guys. When you live in a cold weather climate, uh, jump-starting batteries becomes a thing and uh, everybody should carry jumper cables and if you can carry one of those jump starter packs that you don't need the jumper cables, that works too. But you should also know the status and the condition of your battery. I've worked around this stuff long enough to know that sub-zero days absolutely kills batteries. The one place that I worked, uh, when there was a zero day or a below zero day, you had lines of people coming in because their batteries were dead and they needed a battery. And there's nothing worse than having to be to work at five in the morning when it's six, seven below zero outside and your vehicle doesn't start because the battery is dead. But <clears throat> Batteries, just like every other part of uh, preparedness, is a maintenance issue, and you got to keep up on it. And when batteries start to get into the four, five, six-year range old, that's when you start to... Um uh, have problems with them. And uh, now I know the next question you guys are going to ask is, how do you know how old your battery is? Like if you bought a used car or something like that. Well, I'm going to turn my uh, camera around here and I'm going to show you on uh, my truck here and I'm going to show you uh, my battery and how you tell the age on the battery. Anyway, you guys stick around a second. All right, guys, here is the inside of uh, my engine compartment, and my battery sits over on uh, the passenger side all the way to the back. And they actually have a cutout there where I can get jumper cables through there. It's kind of one of the nice engineering designs here on this pickup truck. But you can see I got all kinds of wires and stuff going onto this. But you see that little sticker right there that says 819 on it. This battery was manufactured in August of 2019. So this battery is on its way to six years old. This year yet, this battery is probably going to be all right if it doesn't give me any problems in this vehicle. Then it should be really replaced. So most batteries unless somebody has tampered with those stickers, are going to have some kind of sticker on like that. Sometimes they're green, yellow, sometimes they're black. It all depends on the manufacturer of the battery, but they're going to have a sticker on there. So if you're buying a used car or you have an older vehicle and you don't know the last time the battery was changed, look for that sticker on there because that's going to give you a ballpark figure. Now, batteries can sometimes sit on shelves in vehicle in uh parts stores and in vehicle places for you know a year or two sometimes depending if it's not that uh, popular a battery or if they don't get that much business so that's something you got to keep in mind too when you're buying a new battery you want to check uh, for that sticker on there and you want to get the newest one that you can find on the shelf if you're strapped and you have to buy one but that little sticker right there can save you a whole bunch of problems and it can help give you a general uh, time frame of how old your battery is like i said sometimes it doesn't match up when the battery was purchased but it gives you a ballpark estimate but anyway this is modern refugee i appreciate all my subscribers out there we are expecting sub-zero weather here in the next week that's why i wanted to do this uh, quick video here here, give you guys this uh, tip so you can go out and you can check your uh, battery too because maintenance just like anything else is also a uh, part of preparedness anyway you guys have a good one